Hey everyone, welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I am going to be sharing with you um, a trick with CSS Battles, which can kind of help reduce your code. And that is related to using border uh, box shadows. Okay, so box shadows are a great way to basically duplicate the element that you see and have it um, kind of wrap your element, right? So I'll, I'll kind of show what I'm talking about in a second. But when I built this component out, I just made a bunch of circles and kind of overlaid them on top of each other. But something you can actually do, um, instead of doing all these circles and stuff, like if we just wanted to do this main circle here, notice that this circle has a yellow circle and then it has a dark blue circle. And then it also has a, like a light blue circle, okay? And we can actually achieve that just by using a lot of box shadows. So let's just go ahead and just leave the yellow here. Um, I think we want the yellow. Yeah, let's leave the yellow. And let's just try to style that yellow here. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff real quick. Okay. So we just have a yellow class. And we want it to make it look like this. So one thing you might be able to notice is that Whenever you're dealing with circles, look to see if there's an ab ab ability. So whenever you're dealing with circles, try to look at the challenge and see if maybe you can add a border first of all. So notice here we could add a border of maybe 50 pixels solid and give it that blue. And notice that that actually achieves what we want, right? So we had a center yellow circle. We gave it a border, but now what we also need to do, which is going to be hard to tell right now because the background is this. I'll make it red. All right, so we are going to achieve this last circle by using a box shadow, right? So I can say box shadow on this yellow class, and we want to basically say 0, 0, 0, but the fourth argument is, I think, the spread from the center, not the blur, but we'd have to look at what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but you can basically provide a value in a color and notice that we have achieved basically what we want. And then you could also do like a pseudo selector here if you wanted to, to add that um, background rectangle. But the point of this video is just to kind of show you that before you start just building more and more divs, like certain, before you add more divs to achieve what you want, right? You could look at this and say, okay, well, I need three circle divs. One is gonna be a light blue circle, one's gonna be a dark blue circle, and one's gonna be a yellow circle. You can actually achieve this just by simply using a border in a box shadow. So keep that in mind when you're doing CSS battles. I think this also applies to like some of these other ones. So a box shadow will duplicate the size and shape of your element. Um, and so this one right here could basically be just use a bunch of box shadows to duplicate the leaf if you wanted to. I might show that in a different video, but you know, I'll just show that right now. So like, look at the leaf. This is how I did it, right? I did a blue leaf, a green leaf and a yellow leaf, but instead of doing all three of these leaves. Okay. So it's a little buggy. There's, there's a bug in it, but Let's just say we had the yellow leaf and we wanted to basically duplicate that. So if I get rid of these other divs, what we can do is just use box shadows again. So I can say box shadow. And then in the X direction, we can say negative 50 pixels. We can say zero in the Y direction, zero for the blur. And I think we can give like a color of red or something. And notice that it pretty much duplicates the shape and puts it over there. So again, you could add another box shadow to the same thing by simply adding a comma, I believe, I think it's a comma. Um, and we could basically say negative 100 like this and change the color to that. And notice how it basically, you can apply multiple box shadows to a DOM element and have it duplicate the shape multiple times. And you can kind of move it around if you want to. I'm not sure what this, I guess this is the size. So you can, you can kind of play around with it and get it to work. but. Just keep that in mind when you're doing CSS battles, because I think there's a good opportunity to basically duplicate shapes using box shadows. Um, sometimes it doesn't work. Like for this triangle, depending on how you use the clipping, just simply adding a box shadow might not work, but I don't know. I have to look into that. You could also use a box shadow for this one, right? So you could basically just clone this one two times using a box shadow and moving it in the X direction. Mm -hmm. These little tail ends could be box shadows technically if you had like a this red rectangle, you could add a box shadow to add that. Uh, yeah. Hope you found this interesting and useful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Leave me a comment below if you want more tips and tricks about CSS battles that I've learned about from doing all these battles. And like always, if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button because I'm gonna have other videos like this in the future that can help up your web development game. All right, have a good day, happy coding.